M0FXB, welcome to my channel and my videos on the ICOM ID52. M0FXB, so we're playing around here with terminal mode. We've got the ID52 and the ICOM705. So what we've done, we've got it in terminal mode and then, so to get it in terminal mode, you just go menu, DV gateway, and then you select here terminal mode and you're in terminal mode. And then in the top half, you select the two section and you go to direct input UR, not repeater, UR. And you select that and you choose where you want to go. And at the moment we're going to 277B. You just select it. Now, with the 52, we're using this software, which I will show you, uh, called RS MS3W. And you download it from um, either on a Playstone for your Android phone or on Windows 10, you can you know just get it on the online so here it is and then the settings are if I stop it here and look you've, I've got I've used XLX David Capello dot com M0 FXBQ here eight spaces in total or eight you know what I mean global disable and then I you click apply and then you connect the cable to the 52 and click play and then, so when I key the mic on the radio, like this, it will beat back at you. And then if you look at the uh, reflector dashboard, so first I'll show you what the software does. Look at the text on the left, I'll, I'll key again. And we're on the 52. And I pause it if you have to. And have a read of what the text is saying there. So, and then I'll show you what the reflector says. So if you look here, it's saying M0FXB, and I'm in the list here of people that have appeared, M0FXBQ, and then it's got the time, and it says that I'm on the 52. And there you go, okay. And DPRS looks like it's on, time and all the rest of it. Now I'll show you the 705. So on the 705, I'll just show you the settings, go menu, because this is the, this is the 705 is connected wirelessly, so we've turned on the Wi-Fi, connected it to our router, and you just go set. Let's go to actually go start again. Menu, DV gateway, and then in, internal gateway settings. At the top here, gateway repeater server IP. So tap that. Uh, it says we're running, but it doesn't matter because you can see I've in that section I've put in XLX David Capello as well. And then scroll down, m 0 fxbq gateway type global, UDP, I've turned that on, allow, I haven't touched the rest. And so now if I key now the 705, you'll see the cloud here that is coming up with an orange arrow going up and a green arrow going down. So that means it is working, it is connecting, and you're getting a beep. Now if I, now, so we don't need the software for that. We just, because uh, we've got the cable, the normal micro USB cable, actually don't no, tell a lie, we're connected via Wi-Fi, so we don't need that, right? So let me just show you what shows up on the XLX um, sort of dashboard. So there you go, this is what's showing up on the dashboard for XLX um, 687. So, and we're on the uh, module, let's have a look now. It looks like we're on module A by the looks of it. So this is how far we got so far playing around in terminal mode. We haven't actually spoke to anyone, but we're on the 52 and the 705. The next thing is I want to try and find an active XLX and then connect to it, call out and actually talk to someone. So that's the next part of this video. Right, well, I can't seem to get to one to get one that will connect that I work and talk to someone. But uh, if anyone knows how to, let me know. 7-3, all the best. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you find it helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe. 7-3, all the best.